Thanks for staying with us. Tonight we are hearing for the first time from the family of a Bloomfield woman killed on I-91 in Rocky Hill last Friday. That's right. Police say a man started a chain reaction crash that killed that young mother, and right now he is facing a list of charges. NBC Connecticut's Amanda Pitts has the exclusive tonight for us. I'm going to miss my daughter for the rest of my life. Jada Upshaw was a soon-to-be mother of two until her life was cut short one week ago. This person who uh, is believed to have been a drunk driver, changing lanes, um, and crashed into my daughter. After the crash that shut down I-91 for hours, police charged 23-year-old Jacob Daniel Texador of Ellington with driving a vehicle while under the influence. He's currently out on a $50,000 bond. Multiple car, loss of people, and you get out the same night. Jada's mom, Kimberly Upshaw, wants Texador to face more serious charges, not just for the life of her only child. My daughter also was um, pregnant with her second child, so there's another life that was lost. Jada was three months pregnant at the time of her death. She was planning her gender reveal. Um, so th those are things that uh, are gonna be missed. And joyous occasions that we cannot enjoy. What does she look like at 40 years old? I won't know that. I won't be at her wedding. Upshaw now raising her daughter's two-year-old Kalani, sitting beside the bicycle she bought, heartbroken that it won't be Jada teaching her how to ride it. Now she won't get a chance to do that, but, you know, I'm here. Her father is in her life, and we will make sure that she... Uh, grows up as a, a good young girl and have fun and do all the things that her mother did. Texador is due in court in two weeks. Upshaw says she'll be there for every appearance. In response to the story, Connecticut State Police said to us in a statement, the DUI charge on the date of the incident itself is not the final investigative measure in this case. The investigation is active and ongoing at this time. In studio, Amanda Pitts, NBC, Connecticut News.